uh, retro gamers at Tarpuri from retrogamescollector.com and here we are on my workbench. We are going to be fitting a GD Emu to this Dreamcast. I'll show you how easy that is. I mean the Dreamcast is uh, fortunately for us a really really easy console to work on. Uh, dead easy to get into, dead easy to get to the components and swap them out. Um, as well as the GD Emu um, I will be fitting a Dream PSU and also uh, just to make things nice and easy a uh, GD Emu remote SD card mount kit um, which just allows you to get the, um, the card in and out by just popping the lid and everything's reachable then so you don't have to fit with that mounted in there um, as it is it makes it quite difficult to swap um, SD cards if you want to if you've got different images different uh, game sets that you want to use you may want to swap the card out it makes it just a little bit you, you, put, you usually have to pop the top to do it properly um, well to save popping the top um, I've bought one of these uh, GDMU remote SD card mount kits hopefully that will do the job um, I've no idea we'll see so first things first, um, Dreamcast is dead easy to get into and dead easy to uh, open up. Just pop the the uh, modem off the side. You can now, you've now got access to four screws, which just hold the uh, top and bottom parts of the unit together. I would suggest uh, when doing the um, the Dreamcast, especially when you get inside, uh, you're going to need a magnetised screwdriver. It just makes things easier and it saves you losing your screws down inside the uh, Dreamcast. Okay, so just pop the four screws out. Turn Dreamcast back over. Top just comes straight off. There's nothing connected to the top at all. Um, and you just got a light pipe, uh, a spring for the uh, for the lid, for the uh, lid catch, um, and that's all there is under there. So there's nothing actually connected to the uh, motherboard itself. Um, all that holds the GD uh, ROM unit in is three screws. There's one here. One here and one back down there. So I'm just going to remove those. This is where the uh, magnetized screwdriver comes in very handy because you can't get your fingers down into these gaps to pull the screws out. Excuse my head. Let me actually see what I'm doing here. these if these screws have never been removed before they can be a little tight I have had this GD ROM unit out before to swap it out uh, so these are nice and easy to get out but uh, if they're factory fitted screws they need uh, cracking basically so just put the screwdriver in uh, hold down very firmly and just they just need cracking before they uh, they will come out um, with those three screws out it's literally you just unplug your GD-ROM unit and take it out. Pop that on one side. You may or may not want to put that back in at a later date if it's working. Probably not. Um, once you've GD emued your machine, um, you're not going to want to use the uh, GD-ROM anymore. But I'll just show you how the GD emu fits. Normally they come with these standoffs and it literally you just plug that into that 
and it's just a simple case of aligning it correctly and plugging it in and that's it that that is the simplest form of gd emu installation you can do and that will work um just as that just pop the pop the lid back on and you've got a gd emu upgraded dreamcast simple as that uh, what i'm going to do is take that back out and fit it um, to this remote sd card mount kit first things first i've got to attach this sd card extender to the main body of this with two very tiny screws oh my god they are tiny so if I'm on hands being in the way uh, those really are small one from our fat fingers anyway Try and get that in there with these big fat fingers. Good luck with that. Yeah, this is when you need your small screwdriver to be magnetised as well. Let's see if I can get that to stay on there. Wee. Bit of a balancing act then on the end of my uh, screwdriver. Okay, I will put uh, details of where you can get this kit, uh, the GD EMU, um, and the Dream PSU, and uh, in the description below. Okay, that's done. I'll fix the GD EMU itself. To this. Right, I've never done this before myself, so uh, I'm just looking at the instructions as I go. <laughs> go on, you want to go in, don't you? You really do. Crikey. So where the standoffs were, which incidentally are removed, there are two holes left. That's where you screw these through. This acts as a more sturdy mount actually than the uh, standoffs would give you. So. Uh, should be less prone to moving around. Crikey, I'm not good with small screws nowadays. Okay, so that's that mounted. I'll pop the extender in. as well don't forget the button allows you to press the NMI button without uh, any hassle well that works nicely as well oh this is quite cool I'm liking this oh come on Ant you can do it Ant Oh my god. Fat 
fingers. That's why I bought this, um, or I had bought for me a, uh, a bench vice because it's getting increasingly difficult for me to handle small things. My eyesight's not getting any better. Um, so I've got this great big magnifying uh, light. Which I use now. Um, and I've also got that bench vice as well, which makes things a lot easier. It gives me a third pair of hands, which is a, it's always good. As for ROMs or uh, card images, um, I'm not going to tell you exactly where to get them from. I'm not going to supply links anyway. I'll just tell you now that uh, Arcade Punks is your friend. Just search for GD Emu Packs and you'll find some. Okay. Oh, lovely. I like. And I'm assuming you can use that hole, that hole, to mount that inside the Dreamcast now. Okay, so this is uh, the assembled unit. So use a nice steady mount for that. Um, just have to tuck that away. Let you get to your SD card nicely and gives you a switch for your NMI. Perfect. So now we move on to the PSU. Now PSU is really simple to remove also. What I will say about anything um, when it's power related, make sure it's unplugged obviously. Um, Capacitors hold charge, they can always give you a kick, so just be wary around them. Um, I mean, they're not going to kill you, these size capacitors, but they uh, they can give you a nasty little uh, shock. Um, it's just two screws. It is a screw here and a screw here, and also just the connector needs to come out. So uh, I'll start with the connector. Yep. I'm not shocking myself, I'm just, there we go, connector out, I'm just cutting myself on this bit of plastic here, again always useful to have a uh, magnetised screwdriver available. You will only need one of these screws to put the Dream PSU back in afterwards. Um, and that's it. So just prise, prise that out. Pop that to one side. You're not going to want that again. Unless you ever want to make your uh, Dreamcast original. This is just as simple as pushing those down onto the pins. So you've got the power pins there. And push those down onto there. Slide that, slide the power port back onto the back there. 
might need tightening up as this one does. And then, just a case of popping the power switch onto there. One thing you will notice when you've done these mods is that your Dreamcast no longer weighs anything at all. It's very, very light. I mean, there's nothing to it now, basically. So now all we have left to do is to pop the uh, GD EMU back in. So this connector to this connector on the motherboard. Just be careful when you're pushing it in, it is quite delicate can easily be damaged um, the mount kit came with um, a long screw which replaced the uh, normal case screw or the normal board screw at the front there you could use one of the existing um, mounting screws for the back one. There are just two mounting screws for this. Um, the mount kit um, also has a spare slot there for any other SD cards you may have, which is quite handy, so you don't uh, leave them lying around. You can keep them with your Dreamcast. Um, all that's left to do is to pop the lid back on. Obviously now you've got that new port at the back, which just needs to be aligned with the top case to go together. Then it's just putting four, four screws back in popping your modem back in um, and away you go looks quite neat you the NMI switch you can easily get your card in and out and you've got a spare slot there just to keep uh, extra cards in thank you for watching my Dreamcast upgrade video um, there are more mods you can do to your Dreamcast such as the Noctua fan mod uh, but to be honest with it running so cool now I'm probably not going to bother um, I'll see how the board goes if it runs a bit hot I might fit it anyway but uh, we'll see please like subscribe hit the notifications button to see more stuff by me and hopefully I'll see you guys next video bye for now